Francis Akwa Ameni, and I'm the president of the Internet Society Ghana chapter. I want to especially welcome you to the Internet Society Community Week, and I'm glad you took time to pass through our booth. Uh, let me tell you about the Internet Society Ghana chapter. The ISO Ghana chapter was formed in 1996 uh, by Prof. Nguyen and the early pioneers of Internet in Ghana. And that tells you ISO Ghana has been around for some time. It came just after four years after the formation of Internet Society Global. Internet Society have had wonderful and amazing president. Uh, like Prof. Nikweno, who was the first president. Uh, we've had Dr. Bobi, we've had Mr. Eric Akumia, we have Marcus Andomi, uh, who have uh, played vital role for the development of ISO Ghana chapter. ISO Ghana chapter currently has a membership of 1,386, uh, which has seen about 30% growth over the past three years. That, that's very impressive. Uh, quickly, let me just uh, walk you through a few of our activities. We, we have a lot of activities, but just for time, let me just mention a few. So uh, we have the uh, ICT Community Outreach, which is uh, aimed at uh, solving the digital skill uh, challenge in the secondary schools. And we also have the Encryption Awareness Campaign, which it is aimed at uh, uh, teaching people to stay safe on the internet. We also have Community Network Projects, which is also aimed at uh, bridging the digital divide so that those in the underserved community may also have access to the internet. The internet is for everyone, so make every opportunity uh, to connect someone to the internet. Because a day without the internet is a day of lost opportunity. Thank you. I'm glad you passed by. Have a good day. Hello, internet community. You are all welcome to Community Week 2022. This year. The main purpose of Community Week mainly is for all um, chapters to come together and showcase what they have been doing. The intent is for us to all learn from it and then help support our chapters. Of course, we also have to make sure that the vision of Internet Society of building a strong, resilient Internet will be met. For ISO Ghana chapter, we have been dealing with many projects, but the few ones we are excited, excited about to share with you is the emergency telecommunication response uh, team. We've been, this has worked because we're able to liaise with NetHope and ISO Foundation. So currently we have a working group which is ready at all times to deal with emergency response, especially here in Africa. We also have the Ghana Network Operators Group, which handles training of IT networks, training of IoT. So we have several modules which have been put together to support the the advocacy and training of network operators here in Ghana. For our contribution as a society here in Ghana, we've been involved in policy engagement with government agencies. We've also made sure that we put together stakeholders every year under the Internet Governance Forum in order for us to discuss whatever issues that pertains to things that have to do with technology here in Ghana. We talked about e-levy issues, we talked about taxations, we talked about all the things that concern technology right here in Ghana. I am Maud Ajili Ashon, the Vice President of Internet Society Ghana Chapter, and I'd like to remind you that the internet is for everyone and in the internet does not forget. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Community Week 2022. And I'm excited to welcome you to the Internet Society Ghana chapter booth. Uh, my name is Theoros, I'm the chapter secretary and it's a pleasure to meet you once again. Um, the internet is a very good source and of course we could all attest that um, COVID has shown us the way. Um, over the years, 
we thought that we could not do a lot of things we could not do do remote works but of course covid made us aware that everything is possible um we at the ghana chapter are doing our very best um to include everybody in um the the challenge and what are the challenges that we are facing is the fact that in as much as the internet is closer to us um, a lot of people are not on the internet a lot of people are not even aware of um, some of the internet resources and how it works so um, the chapter through various initiatives like the media literacy um, initiative the encryption global initiative um, the, the GH Knox and um, other webinars that we do we try to take the opportunity to introduce everybody to the internet space now in terms of education as well i would say that um again people use the internet to learn do courses online and we as um, ghana as well are not excluding ourselves from those activities we are trying our possible best to um, include um, subgroups in secondary schools in junior high schools um, in fact one of the projects that we took last year um, was to um, identify a school and provide those schools with a computer lab um, we are trying our best and we are hoping that we include everybody in the internet space as well now um, in terms of the impact that the internet is having globally and in terms to, to the Ghana chapter I think that the impact is positive but we can do more we can do better we can invite a lot of people and that is why um, I am happy and glad to to say that the chapter is opening its door or has opened its door to everyone if you are a member of the Ghana chapter and you are available, um, reach out, volunteer to help run projects. We have various committees. We have programs and communication committee. Um, we have youth and women. We have fundraising. We have research and education and um, so many more. Volunteer your time to you. Um, join any of the committees and to help do the work again that this time around um, the chapter have decided that um, we are moving on to have regional reps um, in Ghana we have 16 regions so far and we want to take our activities out of our car so we are really um, looking forward to having regional reps and so in as much as these avenues are not large um, it's one step forward and we are hoping that we would be able to do a lot of things now um, in case that you would want to um, reach out or you would want to help in, in terms of volunteering um, feel free to email us on the email that will be put below or um, the number that will be added onto us but overall we do celebrate the community week we are glad that you are here and we are very excited that you are part of us and you would help build the internet internet that is safe internet that is free um, internet that is devoid of anything but above all we are so excited that um, we are a youth group we support youth we encourage minority groups like women and children and the marginalized group um, we have collaborated with a lot of international organizations um, and we've collaborated with local organizations as well um, in terms of marginalized groups we've done some of our projects with inclusive tech which is more focused towards people with disability and that is what we are looking for an internet that is open an internet that is allows for a lot of people to include irrespective of who you are what language you speak and so as you are watching this do all to pass by the booth ask all your questions and interact and of course it's a pleasure to see you Bye.